What's up, YouTube? My name's Chance. The channel is Chance Bishop Breaks, and today uh, we have ourselves a booster box here of Pokemon Obsidian Flames. This is the newest uh, TCG set here on the market uh, before Pokemon 151 comes out later in September. So, uh, let's uh, get into this one. Of course, we are looking for all sorts of Charizard cards. We've pulled two of the double rare Charizards, which about one in every hundred something odd packs, says uh, the pack god peoples that post uh, pack odds. Uh, we're still looking for either uh, the terrestrialized versions, the gold hyper rare, or uh, the real big one, which is like one in 200, like 50 odd packs or something like that. All right, here we go. City and Flames pack number one of booster box number three. So there you go. Code card. Congratulations to whoever got that. Remember, if you're picking up code cards as we're going through this, there you go. LeChonk, that's adorable. That's going to be the illustration rare LeChonk. Love it. Love it. Look at the little piggy. My man, just a little piggy right there hanging out. That's adorable. I love that art. LeChonk. Uh, not as metal as that scissor, though. That scissor from last box was absolutely bonkers. Uh, and if you want to watch our other Obsidian Flames openings, check out the playlist in the description down below, or wait till the end of the video, and the playlist will pop up uh, showing all the previous videos uh, for Obsidian Flames uh, that we have on the channel. So, NK right there. All right, here we go. We are moving on in this one. There's our code card. All right, coming here. We're looking for, of course, uh, we are looking for that rare Charizard card. Uh, we are looking for the rare Charizard card here in the set because, of course, why, oh, why wouldn't we want to pull the rarest card in the set? I don't think we've ever really pulled... No, we've pulled the rarest card in the set before. It was all the way back in Shining Fates where we pulled the uh, Shiny Full Art Charizard. So that was, it's been a while since we've pulled the top card. I mean, we've pulled the Secret Rares, we've pulled the Alternate Arts, we've pulled a bunch of really nice things on the channel. Uh, but we're on like a, we're on like a V Chase card drought. And we missed the Giratina, uh, we missed the... Uh, whatchamacallit, we missed the Lugia, uh, we've missed like uh, the Moonbrion, uh, so we've missed a couple of the last uh, real big ones. So hopefully uh, we can end that drought uh, in this set right here by getting that awesome Charizard card, and hopefully we can get it and it not be severely off-centered. Uh, Dragonite EX, that's our first Dragonite I believe we've gotten. We've got a Stoutland and, a, and we got a Greedon last time, so Dragonite. Uh, EX. I like the Terrastalize effect on that card. It's a real nice one. Uh, real simple, real uh, clean, honestly. I like the little effect it has like on the border of the card, uh, where it's like Terrastalizing onto the card itself. Uh, but here we go. Gloom, Blossom, Claydol. Alright. Oh, there we go. Come on. Uh, code card coming through here Wooper, Lunatone, and Melmetal EX that's our first Melmetal we've pulled uh, that's our second double rare of the box nice little double rare right there so for our two double rares and the illustration rare uh, I think box one we definitely had the most hits so far I think we pulled like six double rares uh, so hopefully we can Get another stack box like that coming into this one. Palafin. Sorry about the, sorry about the quarter, uh, quarter way mark in Obsidian Flames right now. All right, there you go. Code card. But oh, we're moving through this one, Mr. Clod Sire. Scovillain. Nice little school villain right there. There you go. 
go. Water caps the kit. Caps kid's the most fun little Pokemon. And there you go, Thunderous. And that cute little Togepi. Togepi has a cute art in this one. I like that Togepi art. All right. Okay, here we go. Lightning Energy, Togepi. We have Charmander and a Togekiss and Glimmit. Glimmit and Togekiss. Trying to, try not to make super long videos, trying to keep them under the 20 minute mark. Uh, it just seems like those ones do go better, at least when it comes to view wise. I know some people like longer formatted videos. Oh, we're looking at like 25, close to 30 minutes. Once you start getting that long, it honestly becomes a, it becomes a bit, a bit too long. I posted one video, probably a couple uh, this point, like a month or so ago. It was like a 35 minute. Ooh, Houndor and uh, Rhyme right there. So Houndor is our second Houndor we've pulled uh, for the illustration. But the Rhyme uh, is our first full art ultra rare Rhyme. So there you go. Rhyme there for the ultra rare. And then our Houndor. We've already pulled a Houndor. A uh, bit unfortunate there, but still a cute card. I uh, I like the art. I like the art in Houndor. So, here we go. Moving on with uh, this one. Nummel, Phantom, Lanoon, Armor Rouge, Belly Bolt, and Akita. Let's see, we've got two, three or four four-ish packs uh, left before the half waypoint. I think I said we had two last uh, video, and then we had pulled like three or four out of it. So, Entei. Not trying to give an exact number and then be like, oh, look, more packs. So we had two, actually. So, three or four. Uh, three was technically the number because we had a third pack in our hand. go. Vulpix, Darmanitan, Cleffa, Sharpedo, and a Cloth for the double rare. Second Cloth we've pulled. Pulled one back in booster number one. Uh, that's our third double rare of the opening. Uh, we have another half of the box left after this one. So definitely stay tuned because we're not done yet. You know, halfway through the box in just about eight minutes. Not... Not a bad ray. Oh, there you go, Charizard EX. That's not that's the double rare. It's not the right one. The double rare though, double rare Charizard EX. Uh, that is not double rare, ultra rare Charizard EX. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. Yeah, Charizard ultra rare. Centering is pretty good on that centering, too. That is some nice centering on that terrestrialized ultra rare Charizard. Oh boy. I mean, I've, see, I've seen people, I've seen openings, I've seen people pull, you know, two, three Charizards a box. So, I mean, that's the same one as like the gold version. So, hopefully, we can pull the other version Ice Q EX. I like the, I like the Ice Q, kind of like a derpy Pokemon, uh, and like all the art for Ice Q with the Terrastalize is just hilarious. I think it's hilarious. Like uh, the illustration rare we got in the last box of Ice Q for Ice Q, it's it's like a tundra and he's just yeeting across the tundra, you know, and he's the only thing in the tundra. There's nothing else. It's like white. Because it's snow, and then you get, like, the blue sky, and then there's, like, a red ice cube just flying in the middle of it. I think it's hilarious. It's a, it's a fun little card. I like it. I like the ice cube card. All right. Haven't pulled any uh, special illustration rares so far in this box. We have a gold. Is that the gold Charizard? And, oh, it is! Oh, and it's a toad scroll. 
Oh, it's the gold Charizard. Oh, it's the second rarest card in the set. So we've pulled uh, the th third rarest and the second rarest card in the set. The gold Charizard Hyper Rare. There you go. Toad Scroll. Ah, that's Toad Scroll. Cool. Gold to That's Toad Scroll. That's awesome. Nice little double rare for Toad Scroll. Not saying I don't love me a Toad Scroll, but a Hyper Rare Charizard. Uh, that, as the people like to see, that's that's what you like to see for the last box right there. You like you like to see the hyper rare Charizards. So good, good on the Charizard hyper rare right there. You like to see it. We have something in this pack. Oh, Rever Room double uh, ultra rare. Rever Room full art ultra rare. It's better than our two Rever Room double rares we pulled in box number one. Come on, get. And the sleeve. There you go. Ultra rare. So three ultra rares, two uh, illustration rares. What was that? Four, five uh, double rares and a hyper rare so far. Not even 12 minutes into uh, this opening yet. Not even 12 minutes in. And that's what you like to see. Charmander, Wish Cash, Camera Up, Lechonk, Oinkalone, and Thunderous. I like the I like the uh, the amount of times I've gotten Lechonk and Oinkalone back to back uh, with the coalition. I think it's funny when that happens. Code card, uh, but yeah, Oinkalone and <laughs> the Lechonk back to back. I think it's funny. Entei is the rare. Good on Entei. Was a uh, part of what the. Was Ente the no Ente was the first movie, was it? No, it was Ente was the was the two thousand movie, right? Or was it the second or third movie? I don't know. There's too many movies, and there you go. That's a Vest Queen, uh, E X a Vespa Queen, not Vest Queen. I forgot the P. Uh, Vespa Queen E X Ultra Rare Full Art. That's a gorgeous card. That is a very pretty card right there, uh, for the Terrastalized Vespa Queen. So that's going to be our fourth Ultra Rare of the box. Four Ultra Rares. That's what you like to see. All right. So this box, uh, it's a good thing we saved this box for last, honestly. Now go out on a bang. We had a good box. Why not? It's Toxel Toxtricity back to back. I like when those ones happen as well. Uh, we've... We had a banger box one, box two. I'm not saying it was a dud box. We did get the we did get a hyper rare in that one as well, uh, as well as a couple special illustration rares. Uh, but this box, especially with the uh, hyper rare Charizard, I, I'd say it's I'd say it's definitely above it. We got about a third of the box left, maybe a quarter of the box left. Uh, no no special illustration so far in this one. So hopefully they've uh, just waited to the end to come out. Let me get maybe a couple more illustrations. It's only two so far in uh, this box. So Lantern Pidgeotto is uh, the illustration rare. Speak of the devil, here we go. Uh, we've got the Pidgeot. We've got the Pidgeotto. I don't think we've pulled the Pidgey, unfortunately. That'd be great. If we pulled the Pidgey uh, illustration rare... That would be awesome. I would love that. Uh, but uh, I don't think we've pulled the Pidgey illustration rare, unfortunately. Uh, that might be one that uh, might need to look into acquiring. Alright, Zigzagoon, Meltan, Toad School, Ninetales, Lechonk, and Gita. Alright, here we go. Last home stretch of this box. I mean, at this point, if anything left we could pull, it would be a special illustration rare. It's honestly the only thing we really have left as we get Darkrai. Darkrai had that really good art in um, the set right before uh, the Scarlet and Violet set. So, very, very good, uh, a really good um, Darkrai art for the 
illustration right is on that one. Shuckle and an Absol EX. What that is that is a great Absol art. Dude, I love that Absol art right there. That's amazing. Absol with a really cool card right there. I like the 3D effect it has coming through the card right there. That is that is a very nice card for Absol. I mean kind of a not great Pokemon, but Alright, we got a Cleffa in this pack. Cleffa in the pack. Alright, here we go. Varum, Zigzagoon, and Claydol. Alright, we have four packs remaining here in this opening. As we are making our way downtown. So, Cleffa, he's back, or they're back. Hente, Heatmore. Hente, Ente, Heatmore, and Scovillain. Uh, Ente, that's what I said, Ente. Uh, so, Ente and Heatmore, and I kind of ran the two together. Alright, Togepi, Wugtrio, Stoutland, King Gambit. It's our first King Gambit. I haven't seen King Gambit, actually. It's an uncommon. Have I not paid attention to the King Gambit cards? Or is that my first King Gambit we've gotten in two ETBs, uh, three boosters? Is that the first King Gambit we've pulled? I mean, I, I, I highly doubt it's the first King Gambit we've gotten. But it's the first time I've acknowledged it. Which I feel like is an issue. You know, like, I feel like that's an issue, uh, that this is the first I've acknowledged a King Gambit card. Um, but, alright, last pack, here we go, Pidgeot, Tynamo, and Scizor, uh, rounds it out. Uh, no special illustration rat, no hidden packs behind, uh, the back of the box, uh, but not a bad box, actually, not... You know what, we didn't get a special illustration rare, but we did actually do fairly well. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not too upset about it. Uh, we've done very well. So let's get a quick recap going on. Of course, we have our double rares. We have Toad Squirrel. We have Ice Q. Cloth. Melmetal. We have a Dragonite. And this awesome, absolutely baller Absol card. So that's a total of what? Three, six double rares. Uh, then we have our ultra rares. We have this uh, beautiful Vesqueen card. Vespa Queen card. I keep saying Vesqueen. It's Vespa Queen. Reverum, my uh, enemy right there. Charizard. And Rhyme. We did pull three illustration rares, one of them being a duplicate, so it's a bit of a bummer there. Uh, we have, it's still a very cute Houndor card. Pidgeotto. And Lechonk. Absolutely adorable Lechonk card. Love that art. Uh, and we did get one, yes, we did get one Hyper Rare. No special illustration rares, but we did get one Hyper Rare. And it's probably the best Hyper Rare you can pull in the Charizard Gold Hyper Rare. you love to see that one right there to round out this opening. But if you enjoyed the opening, hit that like button, comment down below, text on YouTube though. Peace out, rock on, stay super classy, and we'll catch you on the next opening.